Hi friends, welcome to the channel Syllabus Simplified and today we are going to talk about one of the important topics of your Nebosch International Diploma and which is exothermic runaway reaction. Now, in exothermic rea runaway reaction what happens is we know that in many chemical industries there is some or the other kind of chemical reaction going on and now the reaction occurs inside a vessel so now if the reaction occurs inside the vessel and while the reaction is going on the reaction gives out temperature now there is a possibility that the temperature given out by the reaction is not given away into the surrounding so as you can see the vessel over here there are measures to cool down the vessel which are cooling water or cooling coils but if the systems fail then there is a possibility that the reaction continues and it gives out temperature and as there is no measures to reduce this temperature or give away this temperature to the surrounding there is a possibility that the temperature will keep on increasing now as the temperature inside the vessel increases it in turn makes the temperature of the reaction and it in turn gives or provides heat to the reaction for which the reaction accelerates not only that if there are gases or vapors given out in the vessel by the reaction there is an enormous amount of pressure created inside the vessel this increase in temperature and pressure in turn increases the rate of the reaction so this is by the la chatelier's principle which tells you that there is also increase in pressure in vessel and according to la chatelier's principle the increase in temperature and pressure further accelerates the reaction causing so as this reaction increases so a point comes where the container is no longer able to to hold such an em enormous amount of pressure and there is a possibility for the container to burst so if the vapors inside the container are toxic it may kill people and if they are flammable there is a possibility of an explosion so as we can see the cycle cycle starts with exothermic reaction which gives out increase in react increase in temperature and increase in reaction rate which gives out heat and in turn causes the exothermic reaction provided if there is no escape of heat but if there is escape of heat then the reaction remains under control thank you friends for uh, viewing my channel and uh, please like and subscribe